B Movie, a computer animated film produced by DreamWorks Animation and released on November 2nd, 2007 in the US and December 6th, 2007 in Australia, and starring comedian Jerry Seinfeld playing the film's main character, Barry B. Benson. Fresh out of college, Barry finds the prospect of working with Honey uninspiring. He flies outside the hive for the first time and talks to a human, played by Renee Zollweger. Barry learns that humans have been stealing and eating honey for centuries, and he realizes that his true calling is to obtain justice for his kind by suing humanity for theft. This is coming from the film's official synopsis. While the film performed well at the box office, with a total gross of $293 million worldwide, the film received mixed reviews with criticism being drawn towards the film's premise. But in recent years, a cult following has developed for the film. Out of nowhere recently, I had thoughts about B-Movie floating around in my mind, particularly with one character, Ken. As the title of this video suggests, Ken from B-Movie was misunderstood. Why? Well, let me explain. You see, Ken is an interesting character, a simple man with a unique set of skills. According to his resume, his special skills include the following. Bikram yoga, frozen yogurt, yogurt. tennis. You can just start packing up, honey, because I believe you're about to eat it! Eating with chopsticks, rollerblading backwards, topic selection, writing resumes, job interviews, and hiking. Okay, they're not that impressive, and God knows why he added that to his resume. But still, he went out of his way to turn his resume into a fold-out brochure. Come on, you gotta give the man some credit there. When I watched the movie, I felt nothing but sympathy for Ken. I mean, here he was, doing the best he could to earn himself a well-paying job and have at least one yogurt night. When suddenly, his girlfriend Vanessa, played by Renee Zollweger, develops a strong friendship with Barry B. Benson. A bee. A fucking bee. Already some alarm bells there as A, she's freaking insane. I think we can all agree on that. And B. She's talking to a bee. A Jerry Seinfeld bee of all bees, too. He literally fantasized about a human. Well, until this happened. <laughs> and yet, Ken is portrayed as the villain of this movie. Yes, he's just as batshit crazy as Vanessa, possibly far more batshit crazy than her, and even goes to extreme lengths in his attempt to kill Barry with Italian Vogue, almost on a psychopathic level. But like he said, he's got issues. And he's allergic to bees. And I mean, come on. If you heard from your loved one that she was helping a bee sue the human race, you'd be just as confused as Ken. What? Ultimately, Ken's intentions to kill Jerry Seinfeld bee, I mean Barry, were thwarted. And it resulted in Vanessa's breakup with Ken. As a result of Barry and Vanessa's actions, it not only nearly killed all the flowers in the world, but it would have had a detrimental impact on food systems across the world. Yet despite Barry and Vanessa correcting their mistakes, Ken is ultimately left with nothing. With the people around him basically telling him, get over it. Ken knew something was wrong with a bee talking to humans, but nobody would ever listen to him. He was left with a broken heart. Not a single yogurt night fulfilled. And worst of all, he got no employment despite his fold-out resume portfolio. Ken wasn't the villain of the film. He was the victim. Ken was the victim in this movie, and ultimately, we'll never know what happened to him. Hashtag, justice for Ken.